Hello and welcome, I'm Steam Matt Temple playing Resident Evil Remake Randomizer. So, for anyone who was there, like, early in the channel, you'll know that this is like one of the first playthroughs that I did. But uh, I'm revisiting it because I had that itch to play Resident Evil game again. I love classic Resident Evil games. And uh figure I'd do another randomizer because it would be completely different again. Uh, if anyone doesn't know what a randomizer is, it basically swaps around all the items, uh, enemies, even doors and locks if you want to, but I'm not going to do that because they get really confusing. So if I'm I'm doing a item and enemy randomizer uh, for this playthrough, and yeah, I've turned off uh, bees from spawning because they aren't really a threat and also they're kind of just massive audio bugs. Um, I've turned off the snake boss yawn from spawning because he breaks certain rooms, makes it like, like impossible to go through. Uh, I put only one Lisa Trevor spawn because she's immortal and if she spawns certain rooms it's like impossible again. I have put many tyrants in though. Not not helipad tyrant, slow tyrants, so they can be killed. Uh so yeah, with that being said, let's jump in. I'm gonna be playing as Resident Evil. Not as Resident Evil, as Jill on uh normal difficulty, which is like the, the hardest of it could choose from the start of the game. I would do like a hard randomizer maybe but they're like really hard and also you have to do like new game plus to do that which means i start with like the infinite rocket launcher and all that so we're just going to do like a normal run because to be fair randomizers are quite hard anyway on normal because you can have like hunters spawn everywhere but uh yeah let's do chill that's been a little while since i've played so i might be a little bit rusty that's my excuse for when i die immediately I will also be sk uh, skipping uh, cutscenes. Just a heads up because, yeah, they don't well, they don't often make sense in randomizers because they happen wherever and whenever. Also, I don't have the door skip mod on because I actually I'm one of those people that like the door open animations. Right. Okay. So let's see. Are my buttons? Okay, I mean, they're, they're more or less accurate. It's been a while. It's my control scheme. B. I think that's supposed to be what it is. Oh, actually, no, that's not quite right. That's more right, but the... Yeah, I guess that's closest to what it normally is. Uh, let me uh, just do my like little kink things here and there, just to yeah, I guess that is right. Okay. Uh, I'll equip my weapons because you run faster with no weapons or the knife out. And we start with a green herb. Nice. I think you. I need to also, I don't know how the audio is going to sound, so I'll have to check that later, if it's too loud or what. Um, I should say, I have played, a, if anyone has not seen my first play f uh, through of this on the channel, um, I have played a lot of both Resident Evil and the randomizers for this. So, uh, yeah, I, I do know a lot of the ins and outs of how it works, what things can happen, can't happen. Not everything, obviously, but I am like... This isn't like my first time playing this. So, yeah. Oh, spider, D don't spit, don't spit. If he spat on me, I got poisoned. That'd been a horrific start of this rando. Ah! Barry became a chimera. Yeah, it's coming for me. <laughs> right, this could also be bad, depending what Barry spawns as. Oh, that ain't good. <laughs> Might have to, uh... Yeah, loop around. Uh-oh, he still might catch me. Oh, no, he did a roll. That's good. Okay. 
Yeah, thanks, Barry. Okay, so here's the thing. Obviously, the path thing isn't the same as a normal Resident Evil 1, like, go, because everything's randomised. So... I could do this area first, because it's just the one item, and I get it out of the way. And in theory, if it's something I don't need, and I don't need to pick up, I won't spawn the enemy behind me. So there's that. Of course, it's psych important. Alright, what do we get? Oh, a, a, an actual zombie. Let's see if I can still do the dodge. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so, maps aren't randomised, so you don't need to worry about looting them. Lock's all the same lock. So once you've got the right key, you know that you go back to areas. Uh, let's think. I could go upstairs, and if it's something safe up there, I can push the statue down and get that item now. There is outside where there's the shotgun shells in the corner, but that's a bit risky if the enemy out there is uh, pleasant. What is it? And also, where does it spawn when you first come up here? Oh, I can't aim it. Interesting. I keep... The, the triangle and circle aren't quite on the right sides. I don't know why that is. Oh. Something's moving menacingly. Oh, the dagger's actually a dagger. Nice. What is that set to? Uh, is that on manual or it's on manual? Good, okay. Oh, it's a spider. Okay, that's that's doable. I am going to be opening the map so many times by accident. Right, are you passing? I don't think you are. No, you're not good. The jerks can still poison you if their, like, back is, uh... If, if, yeah, if their back is, like, open, they can, like, still ooze out and get you. I don't think the, the normal blood gush does. I think it's just the, the back that does it. Right, okay, that was successful. Good. Got a nice defense item. <sighs> Got some other items taken care of. When I did this on my, like, the first time around on my uh, channel, I got the most unluckiest, like, like, randomizer seed where I had to loot pretty much every single item in the game to find the thing I was looking for. It was crazy. Right, what did we get? Okay, we don't need those yet. I have to be careful, I can't pick up too many items until I get a to an item box. I think this is always just the goal. Yeah, this is always just the emblem. Right, so we know this is a spider in here. But he should be on the other side of the hallway. He doesn't have bullets on him on the remake, I'm pretty sure it's just uh, the film. What is that? Oh, that sounds like a um, chimera, yeah. I do 
probably need that at some point. Don't be a problem. Ah, I need that. That's like important right now. Ow. That's the dodge. Oh, there we go, doing it again. Okay. Right, let's get the key. Yes, I would like to take that key, please. Right, let's have a look in this room, even though this room is very dangerous, both from the base game and the re uh, randomizers. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm going. <laughs> uh, oof. I would need a very particular kind of luck to get through that room in my current state. I will need to explore that room at some point because there's art items in there. Don't be a jerk and block the stairs. Oh, no, he was just having a moment to himself. Okay, but we got the the sword key, which is good because we need that key for like the start up of the game. I say that shouldn't be a zombie; that should be a spider. It was just making zombie sounds. Right. Okay. So what we got? We've got two things that we kind of need to dump off like right now. With the sword key though, we do have access to our item boxes now. Just need to get to them. Uh, what was the... S I mean, the quicker one to get to is the one upstairs this way. But that room leading to it could be very dangerous there's like three enemies in there. I think this is more safe uh, in theory. Hmm, there's also items down this way. Let's go this way. I mean, I still have inventory space. I can always just combine herbs if I need to. Can't remember if it's this side or the other side that has an item in this difficulty. It's this side. Lovely, I'll take that. And I think on this difficulty there's nothing under this one, but I'll check anyway. Pretty sure this is just for like easy and very easy difficulties. Oh no, there is something, huh. Maybe I'm thinking of hard mode then. Oh, damn it. Wrong button. I'll get used to that eventually. Okay, so this room is fine. That room has a lot of items in it. Uh, does this room even have anything as Jill? Oh, fun. I mean, I, I don't, can't really pick it up anyway. I'll come back for that. Whatever is up here should be far enough away for me to just reach the door. Yeah. Then I've just got to be careful of whatever's in front of the actual save room door. Oh! Okay, you can get stabbed. I don't like you in the doorway. You shot your nuts. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you're. You're down. Down. Good. Is there usually a herb here? Well, that, that might be the easy difficulties.
Right, there we go, safe room. Right, you can go away. So can you. I'll put you away for now. I should probably try to keep this somewhat organised. No, I don't think I need to resort to the knife just yet. Put a safe down now just because we reached a good place. And you can go away. Cool, there you go. Yes, please. Right, first save of many. I think it was like 18 on my... Uh, is there an item on here? No. Um, on my first randomised server on the channel, I think it was like 18 saves, something like that. Right, where should I head to first then? Uh, i trying to think. I'm pretty sure that's Armour Door. Uh, the one on the... Uh, right. The one on the right, I'm pretty sure, is Armour Door. The one on the left, I'm pretty sure, is just locked from this side. And then, obviously, past him, there is a room with, like, a herb in it. Uh, are you going to be a problem? There we go, okay. And also, yes, I am playing on tank controls. I can't stand this game with the range. Cool, okay, I'll take that. Uh, this is a helmet. Okay, hopefully I don't you have to use that on my way back out. Oh, sure, I'll use it. Uh, no, I won't. I could kill him, but I won't. I'd rather not have two surprise crimson heads. Okay, I'll take that and then I'll run right around to you. There you go. And there shouldn't be any enemies in this room. Right. Give me a good one. First aid spray. Green and blue. Okay, that's not bad. We do need a, a blue herb. Uh, no. Whistle. Oh, we don't need that. Ah, wrong button. Two greens, nice, okay. Oh, no, I want to get the, the lighter. Ah, there we go. Okay, we have access to the... Uh... Armor keep essentially now. Uh, wait, is this locked on this side? I don't think it technically is. Uh, we think. Where are we going? I guess, yeah, we could go around and unlock access back to the mansion uh, hall. Oh, I don't know how you didn't grab me, honestly. Oh, good, before he comes through. Did we get to meet Barry? Nah, no Barry. Okay. Right, okay, so... Let me think. 
we can take a peek outside real quick just to see what actually is out here. You can usually tell quite quickly what's out here. That sounds like sharks. Yep, that's sharks. That's not too bad. I'll come back and do that later though. We, yeah, we killed the spider in this room, that's good. We can open up another way into the death corridor of hunters from here. Not a particularly good shortcut in, but... Oh, hi. That is a very unfortunate thing to have outside in a safe room. Huh. Hmm. If I had my knife, I could probably get them because there's like a sweet spot where you can stand. Uh, I should. Hmm. Also, that ass. Uh, I should probably go and get my knife. Let me just go this way and unlock the door. Although, actually... There should be enough to kill uh, these jerks. Get off me, you jerk. I didn't get lucky with any crits or anything, that sucks. Okay, now we use it. Okay, we got unlucky there. Where did he drop the, uh, there you go, he dropped it here. Yeah, so for purposes of, like, the randomizer not just killing you because of bad luck, the sword, uh, armor key is always in that puzzle spot. Because obviously you pick it up and then you can't put anything there, it's like, oh. <laughs> the trap just kills you and that's it. I love how many steps you have to go through to activate this irritation key. Uh, right, okay, let's open up this door. Yeah, let's discard the dog whistle. I don't want to draw any more of them to me. Right, okay, so I've just got to make my way back to get the... Uh, we'll get my knife. Uh, although I've got the imitation key now. Because I need to clear out that corridor where the safe room is anyway for those... Hunt, um, tyrants because yeah I, I need to go through there so I, I do need to get my knife anyway I think and I think the safe way is probably still down this way to do that 
looks at a lot of zombies the other way around. I still need to use the sword key in to get to the kitchen as well. That's the one place I always forget you need to use it. Also, yeah, these guys don't spawn until you come back the other way, like the other direction. So until I do that, that's a safe corridor. Actually, considering I've not met Barry yet, he might, he should be able to save me if I try and get the shotgun, right? Hmm, that might be worth it. Because if I remember right, the shotgun's always in that spot as well. Right, okay. Um, let's put that another save, because the thing I'm about to do is pretty stupid. Oh, I don't examine that stuff. I could also just try and get the shotgun now while I'm here. It will cost me a use on this door, unfortunately, but... Yeah, if I get the shotgun from it, it's worth it. I can't remember how many uses you get on that normal. It's either two or three. I know on hard mode you get like one, and that's it. Yeah, so for Jill, I don't think the items in this room randomise, because of it, obviously you can still survive if you have Barry to save you. So this should always be, yeah, a knife. Because otherwise you could have these items blocked off to you, because you can never come back in this room again. Whereas Chris has to use the broken shotgun in order to get this. So let's see, we've not seen Barry yet, so he should save us. Oh god. Yeah. <clears throat> Thanks, Barry. Right, okay. Now to try and uh, kill some tyrants with a knife. Wrong man. I have just saved. <laughs> the only thing I have to do if I did die was just grab that shotgun again. Actually, let's take it so that. No, I, I don't want kerosene. <laughs> I ain't got a light aurora uh, canteen for it. There you go, that's what I want to do the first time. <laughs> Oh. Jerk. I could try and headshot him with a shotgun and get my knife back, but... You don't always get their head, like, decapitated. Oh, 
also was there. That was my last knife. And I only had that because I looted it from the shotgun room. Right, okay. Let's give this a go. Do you always walk towards... yeah, you do, okay. This is particularly sketchy because I can't see how close I am. There we go. Got it. That's got to do this for a little bit while we admire Tyrant's uh, butt on the screen. And actually where my face cam is, I'm probably right next to that there, so you know, that's pleasant. <laughs> Can you not like wiggle it at my face there, Tyrant? <laughs> yeah. That would be nice. The most powerful biological weapon, slayed by a knife to the foot. Right, let's unlock this, because we need to go through that room eventually. Now, I think that this is going to be the issue, though. Because they're going to be, like, right here, ain't they? Oh, God. Yes, they are. Ooh, okay, that's... oof. Ow. Okay, if I just don't attack, ow. Yeah, this ain't working. <laughs> um, can I like cheese them on the stairs? Yeah, there we go, that's better. I think I don't know if this is gonna get the other one. Quite a funky beat. Oh yeah. Oh no no wait. I'm getting him. First sake, I'm pretty sure I've done tyrants in this room before with the knife. And it was like a sweet spot. And now all is quiet. Cool, well this that makes this save room, or like room outside save room safe. That's nice. Love that. Uh, right, I don't think there's anything to loot in here, is there? No. I was about to ask why is there just a chair just like positioned there, but I realise this is kind of a medical room, isn't it? So, makes sense, treating patients. Uh, right, okay. I need to get a replacement healing supply, so let's bring you out. Uh, for now, I might put you away. And I know I need to use that. Right, let's get any equipment out, because I killed those jerks. And I might call this first part here, I think. Yeah, this feels like a good spot. We'll continue exploring and getting, trying to get the armor key. Well, we have the shotgun now, so we can kill like a hunter or two in our way. Still, it be entirely safe though. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Do have a like and a comment if you, haven't, if you haven't already. Why not slap the subscribe button? It's totally free and helps the channel grow. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day.